I'm going to be starting an analogous color scale with my favorite red violet 176. And like most color scales, I'm going to start with one end. And then analogous colors go around the color wheel. They're like neighbors. So the next one I'm going to try to bleed into is violet from red violet. Mixing in a bit of my blue with the red violet. Maybe a little more. I want it to be a bit more gradual. And then I'm going to keep gradually adding blue to the mix. I do want the middle section to be 147, which is like an ultramarine blue. So I'm going to skip and do that one. And then my final square, I'm going to have a 092, which is like a viridian green. Need a bit more water. So you just squeeze the brush to get a bit more water. Move around the pigment with the water. Might need to do another glaze over this when it's dry so I can get a nice deep viridian green without turning the paper into goo. Get a bit more of that blue so I can get a nice mid-step. I want it to be mostly blue with a touch of purple. start adding a little bit of Viridian to the mix. So I've got mostly blue, mostly that ultramarine with a touch of the Merid uh, Viridian. Got like a teal. As I'm making my way around the color wheel from red violet to green. Should be mostly green at this point with just a touch of the blue.
Viridian has a bit of blue tone to it already. Now I'm going to glaze this guy now that it's a little bit more dry. Got to be gentle, no pressure on it because pressure is going to turn the paper all goopy and we do not want goopy paper. barely touching the paper, just spreading the pigment around using the water as a carrier. But there we have an analogous set of colors. I can go right up to the edge because if it bleeds a little bit, that's kind of okay. I think I might want to go over my blue again just to have it stand out a bit from the purples and indigo next door. And while we're here, may as well do the 176 red-violet to deepen the color a bit. And there we have an analogous color scale.